Five important roles of the worship drummer Part 4 The drummer leads. At a worship event in Plano, Texas in 2004, I was playing drums for a worship leader named Jeff Johnson. There were the normal starting songs in a set and then the slower and more reflective songs near the end. It was a great crowd of people and everything appeared to be great on the surface. But on stage, it was a different story. The evening ended up being a bad night for sound. On the stage we were all having problems with monitors and personal mixes. We fought through it and did our best to finish the set. The advantage we had is that I always ran a metronome independent of my monitor mix. I monitored the metronome through in ears and ran wedge monitors. The other way you can run a metronome is through a dedicated direct box and channel on the monitor console. But in this instance, our mixes weren't working well enough for in ear monitors. My metronome setup seemed to be a great fail safe. Why did it help? It's simple. The drummer leads. Not in the leading worship sets. But in the leading music sets. In a worship band, everyone leads in their own role. But there's a big difference in why the drummer leads. The drummer holds down the foundation. The drummer is the last line of defense against a total train wreck. This is why it's important for drummer to have an incredible sense of time. That sense of time can sustain a band through a lack of anything. It's a must. It's also very important for a drummer to know the song arrangement, builds, and accents. You are not only doing your part to guide the band in the feel of the song, but also helping lay the roadmap of where the song is going. The drummer leads with his or her understanding of these things. You're the rock of the song. You hold it down. And you lead the way your role as a drummer directs you to. As the foundation, let's continue to talk a little bit more about laying the roadmap for the band or guiding the band in the song's direction. The drummer also leads with an understanding of these things. This goes hand in hand of what part five will talk about. Being the solid drummer. These all coincide with each other and there's a big reason why. You're striving for excellence. When you understand the song's direction you're saying, I know where the verse is and what I'm playing on the drum kit to communicate that verse section. For instance, a verse usually is stated by a closed hi-hat and simple kick plus snare groove. The chorus would usually be open hats or a ride cymbal with a different pattern on kick plus snare. Whatever pattern you choose. You're accentuating these parts because of proper dynamics and you are showing everyone else what part of the song this is. The rest of the band does it with chords and more intense strumming or playing. The drummer plays a voice that instructs loudness or softness to indicate that section of the song. When the band was fighting sound issues on that night in 2004 in Plano, Texas, I led with instructing the band where we were at in the song. My confident playing professed, here's the time 104 BPM, follow along. They did, and it saved us from impending disaster. Someone had to lead in this way. Nobody else could do it. That was and is the drummer's role. We lead with time. With confidence in our arrangements. And by saying here's where we are in the song and this is how the tempo feels. Follow along. This is how the drummer leads. Thanks for watching. Please click, like, and subscribe to the Worship Musician YouTube channel.